are several truths about this terrible war in Gaza that we have to hold in our head at the same time. The first is that President Joe Biden has not put enough pressure on Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, starting from the beginning of this conflict after October 7th, to pursue this war in a more humane and strategic way. And the result has been that Israel has wrought terrible damage on Gaza, tens of thousands of civilians. We should always be clear that those dead Gazan civilians are what Hamas wanted. That is a reason why they did this terrible attack on October 7th. We should also be clear that the worst thing that could happen to the people of Gaza would be for Trump to get back into the White House. Biden has tried, albeit in my view not hard enough and not with enough success, to limit the extent of the Israeli war in Gaza and to rein in Netanyahu's worst instincts. Again, not as successful as I would have liked. Trump would encourage them. At this point, we've heard the word genocide used a lot. I don't think what's going on in Gaza is a genocide. I think it's terrible. I think it's horrific. I think it's an atrocity, probably a crime against humanity. But it's not genocide. But if you want to see genocide in Gaza, do what you can to get Trump in the White House. And if you want to take an abstract political position of accusing Biden from genocide and therefore suggesting people vote third party or voting third party or staying home, you are bringing Trump back into the White House. And then genocide becomes not a political slogan, not something to throw at Israelis, because we know Israel, genocide, Jews, we know all that. It becomes a reality. And if you play a role in bringing Trump back in the White House, you're complicit in it.